Hello, hello, Libra, and welcome to Stars with Stasi, where no matter who or what you are on this cosmic journey, you are welcome here. Greetings, I'm Stasi, your trusted psychic and intuitive reader. This is your weekly reading for April 21st through April 27th, or whenever you come across this message, Libra, it's meant for you. I've already shuffled your cards, so we're going to jump right into this week's theme. Now, the best news ever happens this week. Your week starts out with, well, all of us, right? In fairness, the 21st, the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction in Taurus. And you're like, Stassi, what does that mean? It means that the planet Uranus is in conjunction in the same space with Jupiter, right? So Uranus is all about innovation and breaking free and like doing your own damn thing. It rules Aquarius. So if you know an Aquarius, think about that, (laughs) right? And it's going with Jupiter, the planet of expansion. So this is about like be yourself, be bold, be big, do it, like be big or go home, like be bold or go home. You know what I mean? Whatever, you know the saying, comment below. (laughs) And then it being in Taurus, right? Taurus is a sign that rules like money, the things that come, your finances, your material, right? Things coming into material form, your love, your relationship. So let's see. Mountains, stand your ground. All right, Libra, I feel like this came up for you last week or the week before. There's something here where maybe you need to take a stand on something, and it could have something to do with work. I mean, it could be a relationship as well. That type of thing is coming through for you in the month of May. I'm sorry, in the month of April. And we are in a retrograde still until the 25th. So we've got number 43, overflow overwhelm and plenty and the witch experimentation and rebellion now this conjunction right only happens for most of us once in a lifetime because it happens like what once every i think it's like 84 years like something like that and this will set in place a cycle which will continue for the next 15 years of your life and with this also happening during the time of you know the uh, the eclipse season, this is a big, big deal. And this could bring huge changes for you in the material world. This could be something like a massive job change, promotion, you know, something coming in big for you. Um, this could be also a good time to jump all the way into relationship or to take a switch in your thinking towards relationship. Um, <clears throat> you know, you could be resolving a conflict. And as I say that, the four of wands, which is the card of commitment and community, comes through with the lover's card, a card about choice. So I'm going to take these cards the way they came through. Um, So give me one second while I put these out because they actually tell a very good story for you. I've got the devil card, the lovers, three of wands, the full eight of pentacles and four of wands. There's a lot of movement, inspiration, desire in this reading. There's also the need to figure out how to resolve or do something. It feels like you're very focused on a certain sector of your life. And again, we're going to clarify all of these cards. So keep going, spirit. Give me three more for this week. I've got the King of Cups, right? The King of Cups is very nurturing, but also can balance their needs against the needs of their partner. And I've got two more cards that came out. One moment, please. The Knight of Swords and the Sun card. You know what? Something is really happening because I just did the reading for Gemini and they had the Sun card too. And damn it, we deserve it. You know, the collective is finally moving in a direction that seems to be in alignment with the premonitions I've been having, right? Because I was starting to worry for a minute there. It was like one thing happening after another for change. But now I can see that it's all been leading up to forcing us to make these decisions to live our very own path, right? And that's what I've been hearing. So this Capricorn energy coming through in the beginning of your reading with the devil, again, we're going to clarify it, but the devil card shows up when there is a false belief tied in your mind's eye. This could be about how you see relationship or how you see yourself in relationship or even an addiction, something that has been really taking over in your life versus allowing you to shine yourself, right? It's like, this could be something like codependency, but we're going to, um, <clears throat> we're going to dig deeper into that. The lover's card is Gemini energy, all about a choice with the three of wands coming through. Now this energy out there does have us, you know, um, 
it's going to allow breakthroughs in technology, agriculture, um, the way that we live and sustain our lifestyles. So there could be something here. There could be some advancements that allow you to let go of certain false beliefs, right? Um, so let's see. Let's clarify these cards, please. But with the King of Cups, Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords is someone who makes quick, decisive action once they have um, all of their facts. So it could be that you get clarity this week to something because then we also have the Sun card. And for that to happen, that's amazing. But I do see you in this um, in this energy of like saying something because look, in the very beginning, we've got the witch, experimentation and rebellion next to you know, stand your ground. So there's a interesting dichotomy going on here, but between the sun and this land of plenty, I'm telling you, some of you might be uh, really getting, getting a promotion. There's some, some kind of monetary gain happening here. I will say this Libra, the three of swords shows up at the bottom of the deck. This could be a challenge for you. I know that this month, one of the things that is happening with Libras is that if there is conflict in relationship, it could be romantic at work or friendship, this energy is going to push you to resolve that, right? There's some kind of blockage here. So, all right, let's keep going. Why the devil card, please? Oh, Ace of Pentacles. So Ace of Pentacles flew out a new beginning in the material, right? There's a new opportunity here available for you, Libra, that's going to allow you to break free from some past I don't know. This is like chain, something holding you down. So if this is a new beginning in the material because of a promotion, maybe a move, maybe, you know, you deepen a relationship, take it to the next level, right? There's a lot of opportunity here for you to make different choices. You're showing up at the bottom of the deck, Libra energy. There seems to be this need for more balance in your life, right? Something needs to be more equal give and take. Um, and for some of you, the justice card, right, besides you showing up in your own reading, could be things coming into contractual form. We go back to the really big potential for a um, job opportunity or, again, some type of material gain that was maybe more or less unexpected or comes out better than you had anticipated. And again, Jupiter, planet of expansion, it's going to happen. It's going to happen big. So why the... Gemini energy, the lover's card, all about making a choice. So let's see. We've got the Empress. I'm telling you guys, your money is looking good, right? Empress. Some of you may be, um, oh, give me one second. The high priestess just flew out as well. So we're going to take her. And I got to tell you, I've got a bunch of cards over here and sticking facing me out of nowhere is the six of swords. So that's better days ahead. So let's look. We've got the High Priestess and the Empress coming out together with the Ace of Pentacles. And for those of you that have been following me for a while, you know that numerically and magically, I always work with the numbers one, two, three, sometimes four. Your clarification cards, literally one, two, three. Libra, one step at a time, you are headed to greatness. This has been the theme so far for the readings I've done this week, and I'm excited. Today, as a matter of record, is April 15th, and again, this is for starting the energy of the 21st, exactly when that Uranus Taurus or that Uranus Jupiter conjunction happened in Taurus. And so this is allowing you a new beginning in the material. This is saying, high priestess, right? Rely on your intuition. You know what you need to do next. You know that you are headed for empress, for greatness, right? This is a time of great abundance for you, Libra. And, you know, last week was all about how focused on your pentacles you were and meaning your money, your longevity, your vision, you know, like your plans for the future. And the empress is also very nurturing. The empress can take in a, a situation from the past and turn it into something meaningful, right? It's like the silver linings of it all. Nature's greatest recycler of energy. And so the three of wands is a visionary. And this is two number threes coming together just for a matter of record, right? So that shows, again, balance needed in your life. And 
I feel like it's coming, right? Three of wands, this is a vision, you know, you might be, you might be traveling, right, in the near future or even moving or preparing to move, which would be indicative of a new beginning in the material. Um, so that sounds like this is really going to be beneficial for you. It's like plans are taking place. And I'm hearing also that something that you've been putting into, um, into motion is going to look very different by June. So just keep that in your mind. So if you started something in March, okay, just again, a relationship, uh, a, a, you know, whatever happened in March by June, it looks very, very different. So, um, the ending, the beginning, whatever it was, the, the, this again could be the job shift or you could be looking for housing. And I know that, sorry, I have an itch in my back. I know that some of you might be like, well, that sounds like a lot of possibilities, but it's limitless possibilities in the material world. And because it's a general reading, I'm picking up on a lot of different energies, but <clears throat> this is, again, you've got the Ace of Cups. I'm, I hope I see that for you. I saw the Ace of Pentacles, a brand new beginning of the material, but we've got the full card showing up. So let's get into this second part of the week for you, back to this overflow and plenty. So let's see, show me more for Libra. Let's clarify the second row here. The full Eight of Pentacles and Four of Wands. So Four of Wands is all about commitment. It's about marriage. It's about community and freedom as well. Now you might be saying, Stasi, how is marriage freedom? I know, right? <laughs> but it's a passageway, a gateway to another chapter in life, you know? So let's see. Why the full card, please? Oh, one second. Full card, Knight of Swords, King of Swords. Hold on, too many flew up, but let me just try one more. Here we go. The full card because of the Page of Wands. So Page of Wands is very enthusiastic. They're willing to do new things. And this is that full energy, right? <clears throat> the full is starting over. New identity, new, new everything, new attitude. And that's where you are, right? Things have taken such a heaviness over the last 18 months, two years for the collective. I mean, honestly, if we go back to the great health crisis of, you know, the 2020s, right? I'm just going to word it that way, the algorithm. Y'all know what I'm talking about the moment of isolation. The point is, is that that started such a process for the, for the collective at large. And, you know, here we are at that moment of refinement where it's like, you know, everyone has settled down from that for the most part, you know, and we've learned a lot from it. And it's like, you know what? I can never live my life like that again. And this last few years was too heavy and I've got to start over, a more carefree attitude. It's like, I want to live my life. And it's like living to live. That's what I'm hearing for you, Libra. Living to live, right? Taking each day and saying, damn it, I'm lucky to be here and I'm going to do it. Whatever it is, I'm going to do it. And that's coming through. So this ace of, this eight of pentacles, <clears throat> There's a lot of expansion happening for you. For those of you looking to start a family, you may have had already success in March, but you know, it, the energy is still available to you for that. But March was a, a very good month for fertility. Ace of Wands, again, drive, desire, excitement, enthusiasm. This also could be, for those of you looking for it, a brand new sexual adventure or the enlivening of your current relationship. But Besides that, we've got the ace of pent or the eight of pentacles, right? This is putting your mind to it and, and focusing. But I feel like this time it's you've been focusing on you, right? What am I gonna do? How am I gonna get there? What's my future look like? Um, this seems to be a year of, and I think I titled your video last year like Libra's Liber or last week, Libra's Liberation. It's like a continuation of that. Like Libra starts over, but you're not alone, right? A lot of the signs are dealing with their very like their first um what's it called, with all the energy in their identity, right? <clears throat> and so I feel like, especially if you're getting a new job as well or a promotion, this is going to be a lot about you studying that and, you know, maybe learning a new skill. And, but this is going to be exciting for you, right? Whatever it is that you're doing next is... <clears throat> is leading you to a life that's really aligned with who you want to become. So I feel I feel good energy here for the collective. Things are really turning around. That Gemini reading was everything. So this is literally the the best. I mean, you 
this is good. I don't know if this is just air signs. You guys are the first two I'm doing this week. So why the four of wands, please, for Libra? Why the four of wands? One moment. Four of wands. The devil card. Hey, so you have the devil card over here. Like the devil card can be a lot of fun, too. That's the other thing. Devil card can be, you know, go out and do it and live your life. And that's, there's a lot of excitement in your reading, right? There's a lot of going after it. So the four of wands, you may find yourself meeting someone new that brings about like that fun side of you, that excitement, right? It could be that that's what you're looking for, right? To, to have a life that isn't so regimented, right? Maybe you want some excitement. Maybe you want to live off the cuff, right? Do a little something that isn't normally your speed but maybe your normal has shifted. Maybe excitement is your new normal. At least it's the catalyst this week leading you to some really great things that become very successful. So, you know, also make sure that this time as you enter relationship or as you reevaluate re the relationships you're in, that there's independence between you and the other person while still coming together as a supportive partnership. Because oftentimes this could come together and signify that there is a codependency, but I feel like you're breaking free from that because of the very first part of this, where we're, <laughs> it's stuck to the table, where we're looking at the Ace of Pentacles and the Devil card over here. So a lot of times this could be about breaking free. Remember how I said that, you know, the Four of Wands is a card of freedom. It literally could be a freedom from some limiting beliefs, a freedom that you are stuck in a certain way of life or that a certain addiction or mental, um, you know, blockage has a hold on you. So I feel like there's just this new turnaround happening for you, Libra. And it puts you in this energy of like being more balanced, King of Cups. So let's keep going. Why this King of Cups for Libra, please? One moment. Why the King of Cups? I just saw the Seven of Pentacles the other way. They want me to take it. So Seven of Pentacles is, you know, is is it worth it? Should I? Shouldn't I? The back and forth. And the King of Cups, maybe there is something you want to pursue. Maybe you are considering, you know, relationship or having a conversation with someone. Um, and you're wondering, like, is this going to be beneficial? Should I revisit this situation? Do I need to get myself reinvolved? And so we do have that Knight of Swords coming and that's the action that you take. So based on additional information. So tell me more about this King. I'm sorry, the Knight of Swords. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords. I see the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups would be indicative that there is a balanced conversation or partnership ahead. But let's dig deeper. So why the Knight of Swords <clears throat> as we explore a conversation or let's see. Keep going. Why the Knight of Swords? With the Knight of Pentacles. So look, I don't know how else to say this, but this energy is called shit or get off the pot. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally, I mean, I've never seen anything like it. These couldn't be more opposite energies, right? One is making no movement and one is making all of the movement. So this is a crossroads for sure. And there, there's hesitation here about the next steps. Maybe you're just not sure which way to go because that's what's happening here. And Libra is all about balance. And this is, you know, opposite ends of the scale, but indeed a balance, right? And so I feel like there's a decision here. There is this energy that's going to propel you forward because the sun card comes next. And I feel, again, Libras, and it makes sense, right? It makes sense for this month. We're in a retrograde until the 25th. It's going to have you revisiting situations, places, ideas. You've got so much energy pushing you forward in other aspects of your life. So it seems that the universe is putting you in a position to have to balance things out. So why the, why the sun card, please? Can we clarify the sun card for Libra? One moment, that's too many. Let's clarify the sun card for Libra, please. Why the ultimate happiness? What happens to Libra this week? Page of Pentacles. All right. Well, the Page of Pentacles is eager to learn new skills. They're very practical and they're grounded. So again, 
it looks like you've got a lot of really good stuff coming your way. I'm telling you, this looks like a promotion or some type of new beginning in the material that is better than you anticipated. There are some decisions you're going to have to make and conversations to be had. You know, there is some apprehension here about how you step forward in your next phase. And a lot of it does also have to do with relationship, perhaps this new job between, and it could be that it's your partner as well. Someone, but I think it's you, is having a new experience with a financial beginning. <clears throat> Makes total sense, right, with this energy, because again, that's what this Uranus Tar or this Uranus Jupiter conjunction brings about for us. This could be changes in technology, which we're experiencing, Pluto and Aquarius, changes even in agriculture, right, as well as finances. So, Maybe all of this change, right, has you thinking differently about relationship, but <clears throat> this is about eagerness, learning something new and being excited about it, and having a grounded approach to the future. You have total happiness ahead, honestly. And there is something here about releasing a, a limiting beliefs. That, that devil card showing up twice is really suggesting that whatever headspace that you had been in, it might rear its ugly head again, but you have all the tools you need to set yourself free from it. And maybe there's an energy as well as like how you can be more productive day in and day out, how you can spend your time differently, your free time, and you know, how you can be more um, of service to others comes through. So what is the shadow work for Libra, please? What is the shadow work? Libra. Number 24, queen of my world, right? Believe, believe that you are the king or queen of your world, that you are the creator, the co-creator, the lighting, the stagehand, right? You do the backdrop, the costume, the makeup, you do it all, right? You write the book. You are the author and you hold the pen. So I want you to think about that. <clears throat> As things start to challenge you, rewrite it. If you're not happy with what you have, start putting the energy into what you want. And remember that what you want you, <laughs> English, what you want also wants you. We are in a quantum reality, right? The, everything is happening now. It didn't happen yesterday, two days ago, last week, everything happens now. And so if you are thinking and experiencing a script over and over again in your mind, that doesn't put you in the control position, Eliminate it, <clears throat> right? That isn't meant for you to carry forward. That is meant for you to have as a lesson that your experiences from the past, right, were there to have you be aware of how strong you are to build your future. You have to live through some things to understand how strong you actually are. So you are the queen of your world. Don't get in your own head. Don't allow yourself to believe or hand over your power to anybody else. That's what I'm saying. Don't hand your power over because honestly, this is the second reading where the sun is the last card, right? And I'm feeling really, really good about this energy that's coming through to the collective. And you know, if you get an opportunity or you feel froggy Libra, leap, right? Because this is good stuff. Show me the um, empath card for Libra this week, please. <clears throat> I see you going through some really um, pivotal thought processes this week. I don't know how to put that, but I spirit showing me like, you know, I, I see a person just sitting here thinking and then I'm seeing like a loop and then a pivot. It, it's, I wish I could draw this and show you. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. This reads, Conquering Social Anxiety, number 34. 34 reduces to seven. Seven is the chariot card in the Major Arcana, a card of victory, it's forward movement, happening fast. But also, it's a card of you taking control. So when I see Conquering Social Anxiety, <clears throat> I feel like that might be one of the biggest things that you get out of this week. This energy has you revisiting your limiting beliefs. It has you breaking free, right? Like if you can imagine that this energy is right up against this full moon in Scorpio happening at the end of this month, right? I think it's the 23rd or the 25th. So with the energy of a uh, full moon in Scorpio is all about transformation, deep thinking, right? And, and coming up from the darkness. So 
between the two energies, this is absolutely your glow up time. This is a time of um, just stepping into the best phase of yourself and you've been working towards it for a long time. So don't doubt this energy. It's happening for you. So conquering your social anxiety, this might really be how you start the beginning of the rest of your life by understanding that you're enough, right? The way you show up is enough. The way you come through is enough. You don't have to put on your mask anymore, right? Just be proud of who you are, step forward and allow others to enjoy all that you are. And every time that you express your unique self, that Uranus energy and are bold about it, that Jupiter energy, what you bring toward you in the material, that Taurus energy is for your best and brightest because you bring about what you think about. And the truth is, is that it's not personal, it's vibrational. You will attract the energy you omit. So put down your guards, allow yourself to be expressive, do not be afraid to step into your greatness because it's happening whether you like it or not, Libra. You're going to be happy. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for spending your afternoon with me today. Please remember that these are general readings. So if you're looking for a more personal experience, please head over to my website at www.starswithstasi.com. You can order astrological charts, tarot readings, mediumships, and work with me on so many different levels. Feel free to reach out if you don't see an appointment time that meets your needs. All of my contact information is there as well. Guys, we're all stars in the sky with feet on the ground, doing the very best we can with the information that we have. So be kind to yourselves and each other. I am so excited that you guys were able to spend some time with me, drop some comments below, do all of the YouTube stuff, share, like, subscribe, find me on my other platforms. I'm everywhere at Stars with Stasi. And also, if you've been with me for some time, you know I'm upgrading my studio. I will be going back to live streams as soon as possible. I've got one more kink to work out. It's just about my internet connection. But other than that, I should be back to regular schedule in no time flat, but certainly by May. All right. Thank you so, so much. And until next time, guys, may the magic that we weave and the words that we speak bring healing to all those who seek it. See you next week, Libra. Love you. Shine brightly.